10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, <laughs> They really do go up so fast with a beautiful liftoff of Electron from the pad at Launch Complex 1. It We're now T plus 40 mode. seconds into the mission and approaching max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure at the 1 minute 9 mark. Max Q is the moment during launch when Electron experiences the highest amount of mechanical stress from the dynamic pressure which is a function of its velocity and altitude. We'll be coming up on max Q in just a few seconds. We could pass maximum dynamic pressure. And there's the call that we've successfully cleared max Q. All is looking good with our trajectory, and Electron is performing nominally. Stage one guidance is nominal. AOS Chatham Station. We're quickly approaching the next set of milestones in this mission. First up will be main engine cutoff of the nine Rutherford engines on Electron's first stage. This is when the engines throttle down before the vehicle separates into sections, or what we call stages. Following that, the sole vacuum-optimized Rutherford engine on that second stage will fire up to continue the journey to low Earth orbit. We're a few seconds away from those events and those calls will come in quick succession, so we're going to cross back to mission control now. Stage separation successful. Stage two ignition confirmed. And you've seen it on your screen there, we have had a successful MECO, first and second stage sa separation and ignition of the Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage. Coming up in a few seconds, Electron's fairing will separate. The fairing is the casing at the top of the rocket that protects the satellites as they travel through Earth's atmosphere. Succeeded. And, and there they go, the fairing has cleanly separated Stage and fallen away from Electron, which is continuing on a nominal trajectory.